Hello viewers, in today's episode we are going to discuss about infants clothing and toddlers clothing. We all know that clothes form an important part of one's image and it is one of the most personal and basic necessities of human life. Clothes also play an important role in the overall development of an individual right from his childhood. It has also been recognized as an important feature that has a great impact on physical, social and psychological development of children. Now, let us see what are the clothes that an infant has to wear. And do you know what an infancy is? It is the period from birth to 18 months. Clothing for infants should be warm, comfortable and hygienic. The choice of a clothes for a newborn will depend upon certain factors. What are they? The first one is climatic condition. The second one is season. The third one is microclimate in the child's room. And the last one is the condition of the child. Now, let us uh, go ahead and examine all these factors in detail. Climatic conditions is the first one, right? Baby's clothing needs are dependent on climatic conditions. In cold climates, hooded cardigans or newborn jackets are good for providing warmth to the baby. Baby's feet should always be covered with booties which are worn over socks and the head as well should be covered with knitted hats. But in a hot climate, protecting the baby from the sun's UV rays is very, very important. The baby can be clothed in a light, uh, cool cotton clothing uh, with a light hat for sun protection. And um, using light colored clothes and uh, lightweight clothes will keep the baby comfortable and protect the baby from the uh, harsher climates. It will also keep the body temperature normal. The second factor on which the infant's clothing is dependent on is season. Just like adults, baby's clothing needs to change from one season to another. During summers, newborns may develop heat stroke if they are exposed to too much of sun. During summer months, it is important to dress the baby in clothing that will allow his skin to breathe and uh, feel comfortable. Constricting garments or very heavy fabrics should be avoided in summers. Instead, loose fitting garments and lightweight clothing are preferable. Selecting lighter colors will also help to block some of the heat during summers. But during winter season, it is best to layer up the baby in an undershirt, a sweater and a jacket and a hat. A pair of gloves or mittens can also be used to keep the baby's hands pretty warm. Over all these clothing, you can add one more layer which is a blanket. So you can wrap the baby in a warm blanket to protect him or her from cold winds. The third factor was microclimate in the child's room. A newborn needs a much warmer environment than an adult does. Low birth weight babies or premature babies are, should be kept warmer than normal weight babies because they have a tendency to develop or a hypothermia or lose body heat. So that's the reason why these premature babies are kept in incubators where the temperature is regulated. So after removing the baby from incubator after a couple of days, the mothers should take care to keep the baby warm and monitor the baby's uh, temperature as well. This is very uh, important because we do not want the baby to lose his body heat. Newborns should be adequately protected from the ambient temperature of the room by using appropriate clothing. The child should not be exposed to cold droughts or cold winds. The other factor on which the clothing for infants depends on is the condition of the baby. Children's clothing has a very significant impact on their general health and well-being. Appropriate clothing can prevent many diseases in the newborn. So it is best to clothe the newborn in layers. It can help prevent hypothermia which is a condition in which the body temperature is less than 35 degrees centigrade. A newborn is rapidly susceptible to heat loss after birth. So the infant is quickly saddled up and covered up in warm clothes. 
heat loss is more rapid in wet condition that is wet skin condition hence mothers should take care to reduce the time the baby skin is exposed to such dampness which could be during bathing time or uh, during a wet diaper stage or during wet clothing so those were the factors on which the infant's clothing depended on now let us see what a layer is we can describe layer as the first set of clothes that are required for a newborn or it is a collection of a basic necessities that are required for the newborn according to the region according to the climate season and uh, the general uh, climatic conditions the layered items may vary from one uh, region to another there are certain common items that can be included in a baby's layered they include gown and wrapper shirts and uh, jabla diaper and uh, diaper covers sweaters or sacks bibs and outerwear dresses bonnet uh and booties and shoes and towels and face cloth one can also include blankets and mattress pads and crib sheets and lap pads in the baby's layer of course we should not be forgetting the napkins which are very handy for a, a mother now let us examine each of these items that are there in the layer what is a night gown or a wrapper this is a basic garment in a baby's layer um this can also be called as kimono it is appropriate for both day and night wear and it is a unisex garment which can be used for both boys and girls the gowns made of soft cotton is suitable for a newborn because it is absorbent it is comfortable and it is also easy to wash other fabrics that are suitable for making the gown are flannelette muslin and knits so what are these gowns basically they are long bags with an envelope fold or drawstring at the bottom these gowns should be at least 27 inches long and one advantage of the gown is that it keeps the baby feet warm because you are closing the drawstring at the bottom and enclosing the feet inside the gown but another disadvantage is that these gowns have to be changed if the baby wets it so when the gowns are closed at the bottom they become sleeping bags and they should be long enough um so that the baby feels comfortable to move his legs within that uh, space a wrapper or a kimono on the other hand opens all the way down the front the opening can either be put on the front or on the back depending on uh, how the baby sleeps so if the baby is sleeping on his back the opening can be on the front if the baby is sleeping on his tummy the opening can be on the back now let us see what a shirt or a jabla is we all know about jabla jabla is a sleeveless garment which is worn on the upper uh, body it is also an essential item in the baby's layer variety of shirts are available in the market uh, and they are um, called in different names like jabla diaper shirt slip ons double breasted shirts either with a tie or you can pin it up Uh, using a pin so these double breasted shirts are um, very suitable for a baby because they provide extra warmth across the chest and abdomen and they are very easy to put on and take off as well slip on shirts are also pretty easy to put on and take off one advantage of slip on shirt is that they have no fasteners and they can be easily pulled over the baby's head one important feature that um, you should be focusing on on these slip on shirts is that they have adjustable necks so a mother can easily slide in her hands uh, inside the neck and open it very wide so that the head of the baby goes in easily you also have sleeveless shirt variety which are available in the market these are made of uh, very soft cloth like a lawn material and they are very very ideal for uh, our country especially because it's a temperate climate and uh, it's a warm climate especially during summers sleeveless shirts are preferable for infants but in warmer climates a diaper shirt and a diaper may also be enough for the baby irrespective of the style all these different types of shirts should have ample arm size for easy dressing fasteners if in case are there on the garment they are better located on the side of the garment than either on the front or the back 
because most of the time the baby sleeps so if there's a fastener on the back it may hurt the baby and produce a skin rash. For slip on shirts we have seen that the neckline should be flexible or should be large enough so that the head of the baby can be slipped on easily and so that it does not hurt uh, the baby as well when you are putting the garment on. Pin on shirts on the other hand should have extra thickness at the area where they are pinned because constant pinning on a single layer of fabric wears out the material or you would see holes developing in that area. Now uh, let us see another important uh, item in a baby's latest diaper or diaper covers. Diapers are very essential part of a baby's layer because that is one way of keeping the baby dry and clean all the time. So it is must in a baby's wardrobe. The diapers that the mothers use should be very soft, absorbent, washable and they should dry quickly. There are five different kinds of diapers that are available. The first one is a bird's eye wherein uh, one can see simple geometrical designs um, on this bird's eye diaper. It is uh, made from a heavy fabric and therefore it is bulky. Because it is bulky and heavier it takes longer time to dry when compared with the other types of diapers. You can also make diapers out of flannel material. They also are bulkier than the bird's eye diapers. They also take a longer time to dry. Diapers can also be made out of gauze material. These are uh, very light in weight and um, very absorbent and they also dry very quickly because they are light in weight. Another category of diapers that uh, are available are knitted diapers. So they are made from knitted material and these diapers have an added advantage of stretch in them. So they fit to the body of the infant and they also do not require any folding. They can be handled as is. So another advantage of using these knitted diapers is that it reduces the bulk between the legs which is commonly seen when we are using other type of cloth diapers. Of course we all know about disposable diapers. A lot of brands are available in the market. They are made from paper like material and they have a tendency to absorb many bedwettings. So you have uh, pin on types and you have uh, padded types, you have uh, diaper liner types. So these diaper liners are made from very soft material or soft cloth like cheese cloth. Diaper cover can cover a diaper and uh, they are generally made out of waterproof material. Whenever you are using diaper covers you should ensure that they are loose enough uh, so that they will allow air circulation. They should neither be too tight or too loose. Tight diaper covers may lead to rashes on the baby's skin whereas loose diaper covers may leak and spoil the outer shirts. So basically diapers are used to prevent the bed clothing and the outer shirts from becoming wet. Waterproof diaper covers are also available. They are available in three types. The diaper covers in uh, all rubber which fits very close to the body and a bloomer type with an elastic around the legs and a waist and you also have a tailor type or a gripper type made with plastic lining and grip fasteners or button fasteners at the side of the diaper. Another important item in baby's late is sweater or a sack or a hood. A hood or a cap when attached to a sweater will help cover the head of the baby. It also ensures that the baby's head is kept warm. Sweaters are made out of either cotton, wool or acrylic. They should be large enough so that they can be put on very easily over the gowns or shirts of the baby. A sack is slightly different from a sweater in the sense that it fits the baby closely like a bed jacket and it opens down the front. The sleeves of a sack should be loose enough and they should be large. Gripper fasteners are used with a soft knitted neckband. They may be either knitted or crocheted or made out of any other lightweight fabric. Hoods and caps in case if we are using for infants, they should be fastened under the chin. The fastening should not be tight 
and the mother should ensure that the fitting is not too tight. So, these hoods and caps can be uh, made out of a woven material or a knitted material or they can also be crocheted. Now, uh, let us see a very important part of a baby's layout is a bonnet or a cap, especially used when the baby is taken outdoors. Especially when there is a cool wind blowing, the baby's head should be protected from the cool wind. So, a bonnet or a cap does this job of protecting the baby's head. This bonnet or cap is again fastened underneath the chin of the baby. One should ensure that when you are fastening, it is not too tight, uh, it should be snug enough. Bonnet helps keep the baby warm as well. Another important item that is there in uh, infant's layout is uh, booties, nothing but shoes. The tiny feet of the baby uh, easily gets cold uh, except in hot weather of course and uh, his uh, or her feet should always be covered in woolen booties. They should fit snugly around the ankles and um, they can be fastened with a crochet drawstring as well. When the booties are covering the uh, legs, the mittens cover the hands. So, the tiny hands of the infants should be covered with mittens. Uh, these mittens can help keep the baby warm as well. Now, gloves are uh, different than mittens in the sense that mittens do not have separate finger openings, but gloves have separate finger openings for all the five fingers. One more important part of a baby's layout is bib. Bibs are going to protect the outer shirts or a dressy clothes from drooling or from soil or from moisture. So, for that reason bibs should be made from absorbent material. Fabrics like terry cloth uh, can be used to make uh, bib and they can be lined with a plastic underliner. Dress up bibs uh, can also be made with organdy fabric. They can also be underlined with an absorbent material. So, a bib always goes around the neck of the baby over a uh, dress or a shirt. Mothers can also include outerwear uh, or uh, dresses for uh, occasions wherein uh, the baby goes out of the house. When the baby uh, is taken out of the house, um, the dresses that mothers uh, should choose should be of uh, soft cotton. They should be sufficiently large enough for easy dressing. They should also have enough allowance for growth as well. It is always uh, better for the mothers to choose dresses with shoulder uh, buttons rather than fasteners either at the front or at the back. Trimmings on these dresses should be very simple like you know a pin tucks or hem stitching or feather stitches and french knots and narrow simple embroidery that add to the appearance of the dress. Uh, heavier trimming should always be avoided on uh, baby's dresses. Raglan sleeves or magyar sleeves are better than satin sleeves because they provide more room around the arm side area. And, um, in fact, they also provide room when the baby grows as well. One more important item in baby's layout is a towel or a face cloth. These uh, towels should be uh, made from soft material. They should always be sterilized before the first use or they should be washed before the first use. They can be made from a very soft absorbent material like a terry cloth. It is not necessary to purchase a special towel for the baby though. A family towel can be set aside for the baby's use, but ensure that it is made out of a soft material. Blankets can also be used for covering the baby. These blankets are available in different sizes and in different weights and they also have different functions as well. Three different types of uh, blankets that are available are receiving blankets, crib blankets and outdoor type blankets. Receiving blankets are light in weight, they are made out of absorbent material like a flannel or a napped material and it is generally smaller in size when compared with the others. These receiving blankets are used to wrap the newborn babies snugly in order to lessen the shock of the new or open environment. About two or three receiving blankets or outgoing uh, 
flannel squares about a yard uh, square can be used for swaddling the baby or um, wrapping the baby. Sometimes these receiving blankets could also have a hood on one side and generally when the baby is handed over uh, from one person to another, the baby is swaddled in this receiving blanket and handed over. A crib blanket on the other hand is also made out of a soft and absorbent material though, but it can be a quilt in the sense that two or three layers can be combined together and stitched to make a crib blanket. These crib blankets also should be light in weight. They should be large enough to cover the entire crib. Crib is basically the child's bed. So this crib blanket should be covering the entire surface of the child's bed. It is better to have at least one to two crib blankets in a layer. And um, third one was the outdoor type of blankets. Out of all the three blankets, these are pretty heavier and they are used to wrap the baby or protect the baby uh, from cold wind or cold weather. Usually one can see a hood attached to these kind of blankets and um, cotton or acrylic uh, blankets are available in the market and these blankets can be easily washed. They should be soft. Acrylic blankets uh, when compared with wool blankets are much better in the sense that they are light in weight. They are washable and they dry very quickly. And you don't see many stains on acrylic blankets when compared to wool or other types of blankets. But they are more um, expensive than cotton blankets though. Another item that one can have in baby's late is a crib sheet. These are useful for tucking in the mattress in a crib. And they should be of adequate size in order to tuck in the baby. And uh, if slip sheets are made for the crib, the baby's bed can be kept clean easily with these uh, sheets. The slip sheet is placed on the crib tied to the four corners of the crib. And if the baby spits up or wets the slip sheet, it can be easily removed without remaking the entire bed. Since the slip sheet is not much larger, it is easier to wash than a full crib sheet. One can also include mattress pads in the baby's layer. They could be made out of plastic, rubber or quilted material. And they should be large enough so that they cover the entire mattress because it is a mattress pad after all. If a slip sheet is used, then the mattress should be placed between the slip and the lower sheet. A common item that is included in the baby's layer is a lap pad. This is a pretty smaller uh, sized uh, uh, material, about 15 by 15 inches in size and they can be cut from any uh, plastic material or rubberized material. This is very uh, um, useful uh, in the sense that it, it will prevent the uh, bed sheet from getting wet. Napkins of course are a necessity in a baby's layer because when you are handling the baby, you need to have a napkin handy to um, clean up all the mess that the baby does. So they could be made out of any absorbent material and they are very useful to wipe the baby's mouth after every feeding. So far we have seen different items that are um, essential in a baby's layer. Now let us see what are the general guidelines that one must keep in mind when you are selecting infant clothes. The first and foremost point that one should keep in mind is the comfort. Baby needs to be comfortable at all times while um, the baby is sleeping or while the baby is active. The baby has to be comfortable. So the clothes that we choose should be very, very comfortable for the baby. We can do this by selecting an appropriate material and we can also select an appropriate design and choose an appropriate method of construction as well so that we can keep the baby comfortable and warm as well. Whatever materials we use for the baby should be absorbent, they should be porous, they should be soft and they should be pliable and uh, non-irritating to the skin of the baby. So the best material that is suitable for infants clothing is cotton. Sometimes you could also use blends of cotton as well. Um, with a higher percentage of cotton though, one can also use flannelettes 
So these kind of heavy fabrics are suitable for winter wear. There are couple of things that one should avoid when you are buying uh, clothes for infants. You should avoid fur materials, you should avoid loose flowy materials and you should always avoid dresses with tassels because these loose items may accidentally come out and hurt the baby or the baby might accidentally grab them and put them in their nose or mouth. So all these um, uh, items should be avoided in a baby's late. We were discussing about garment construction and the design as well. Both of them should be comfortable for the baby or the infant. So when we are talking about design, we should keep in mind that baby's clothes have to be very, very simple and not complicated at all. Um, it's not necessary to buy fancy clothes with a lot of fancy trimmings because they are likely to irritate the uh, skin of the baby and the baby may also develop rash on the skin. All these trimmings also require extra care during laundering. So it is better to avoid them. Whatever clothing we choose for an infant, it should help the infant move uh, the body very freely. So the dress should be loose enough and openings all the way in the front or in the back with ties or flat fasteners are comfortable, especially for the newborns. It's also easier for the mother to frequently change the clothes in case the openings are on the front. Bulky seams should always be avoided in baby's clothes because when the uh, skin of the baby rubs against these bulky seams, uh, the skin may get irritated and may become red and um, the baby might develop a rash as well. So always avoid bulkier seams in baby's clothes. Another important factor that we should keep in mind is necklines. So necklines with drawstrings should be avoided because they are very very dangerous and sometimes they may be possibly pulled tight and it might hurt the baby. So as the infant starts creeping at the age of 8 months to around 1 year, the infant needs clothes for protecting his body now because he is crawling and moving and reaching out things everywhere in the room. Overalls or rompers are suitable for this particular uh, age. These overalls are suitable in the sense that they will help in easy diapering, in the sense that the diaper can be uh, removed and put on um, if the baby is clothed in an overall. Dresses are not at all recommended uh, during creeping stage because they may get caught in the way or they may not offer adequate protection of the knees and hands of the baby. So the baby can also be um, clothed in soft socks or shoes um, to protect the feet from extreme cold temperatures. So these were the clothes that were suitable for infants.